Okay, so the first thing I do for beginning a drawing is look at reference pictures. And I have a whole folder on Pinterest that's available, and Pinterest is probably my personal favorite place to look for reference photos, but obviously you can use any form of media to look for them. Reference for this particular drawing, I ended up settling on this image. Um, and you can see the user who uploaded it. I don't know if that is the original poster of the image, but you can see the re-uploader. This was the OC that I was given to draw, so right now I'm just plotting out the colors to get them right when I start coloring. Now I'm just doing my base sketch. For a base sketch, it's just getting out the basic shapes of the reference picture and getting a rough understanding. It doesn't have to be perfect or beautiful, it's just this is my guide for the further layers and the fine sketch. And you can see my reference photo in the pop-up view in the corner. adding like the official line art kind of it's a lot of just redrawing lines and using the liquify tool but it makes it bring more life to the drawing and makes it look like an actual person instead of just a blob of shapes and i will be using the liquify tool a lot and then i'll use it like at the end due to proportions being slightly off and i wanted to fix that but you'll see that later on To the coloring stage was just fairly simple i just use the lasso fill tool to color i know a lot of artists do a gray base with a lasso fill tool and then color over it but i didn't feel like doing that for this piece of art so i just lasso filled each section and lassoed a race there isn't really much more to add for it so i'll let it play out and fast forward with music over top of it Okay, so right now my sister is playing music on the TV and it is quite loud, so sorry if you hear that, hear that in the background. Um, so right now I am sectioning everything into folders so I can like work on each section at a time when rendering. And rendering is pretty simple for me because I've been doing it for a while and you need to find your specific way for rendering. Uh, I use a whole bunch of different brushes. I really like the watercolor ones. But I'll use different ones depending on like the hair or the clothes. And when rendering clothes, remember which way the fabric falls because that's very important too. And same with hair, like 
what direction is it going and what is the volume and texture of the hair. So I'm just going to, again, same thing with the coloring, let it play out and fast forward with some music over and obviously you can skip to the end if you so wish. see my whole process overall for this part and how many times I redrew stuff like the eyeball and I also use the liquify tool at the end to shrink the head because if the head is too big proportionally it'll weigh down the rest of the body and you'll topple over so cheap proportions aren't accurate and the end of this drawing kind of ended up looking like Marilyn McKinnon from the Marauders it's it's beautiful. I hope it is to your liking though. Okay, sorry for how quiet I was in the last bit of the video. I, I was just nervous. Um, and I forgot to do the screen recording speed paint for the last ones. Um, this one I drew while on vacation in Ottawa, and I finished it while waiting for the double-decker bus to start. Um, but I don't really need to re-explain what I'm doing here, because it's very similar to the first one, so I'll, I'll just let speed paint play out with how to turn a dragon music over top if it's not copyrighted. the silly final drawing. Uh, I hope you like it and it's to your standards. This one, same deal, same gist, except I drew a sunflower for the first time in my life. Wowzers. Um, but I did this one on the ride home to Ottawa because we drove. So that was a fantastic drive. Um, but it's basically the same process as all the other ones. Um, a lot of the symmetry tool, but then some not. It's just a kind of a repeat my process, just make the things look different because they're different characters. And here's the final result. I will say the sun I drew looks atrocious, but I don't mind the rest of it and I hope you like it too. Okay, so here's the last OC that I am drawing for this video. Now this OC, I know an ungodly amount of lore about, okay? It is one of my friend's black butler self-insert OCs. So I kind of have like a better understanding of like a pose and idea of what to do with it because I know an ungodly amount of lore. So um, I settled with drinking tea. Um, now the hand caused me a lot of trouble. So you will see I take like direct reference off the image itself to draw it, um, which some people might not like. Some people may like the hand proportions for just screwing me over. But yeah, it's a pretty silly drawing, and I hope you like it too. And here's the final result. And here are the reference pictures I used for the last three drawings. If you like this, maybe I'll do a part two. I'll link the video explaining what you have to do to enter this. 
in the description and also i'll put all the creators of the ocs in the description too so you should totally check them out um that's all for the video though thank you so much for watching and if you'd like more of this content in the future please let me know